Life is an echo. What you send out comes back to you. What you sow, you reap. What you give, you get. And what you see in others exists in you. Hi, I'm Oshin and you're watching The MNS Video Magazine. I hope everything is safe and sound. I know the recent aftershocks have taken a toll on all of us, but then we cannot do anything about it, can we? So let's just keep calm, squash the rumors and stay positive. We're all creeping towards normalcy, whatever that might be for now. And here at MNS, we're also keeping our one foot on the issues after the earthquake and another onto our usual lifestyle issues. So without taking more of your time, let's begin today's episode of the MNS Video Magazine. And as a reminder, we are back again with Kandipur Television after a couple of weeks. So you can find us here every Friday evening at 10 and every Saturday morning at 11. Nepal has a rich history going back millennia and that history has left us with an abundance of landmarks and monuments of great religious and cultural significance. But Nepal had to feel the tremor of the major earthquake followed by the not so minor aftershocks that has left our heritage sites in shambles. We have to do something about the irreversible damages that have unrooted our culture and history before it's too late. Well, our top story revolves around this very topic and our cover photographer Sanjo Rai came up with this creative and abstract way to represent the notion of rebuilding and loss. Take a look for yourself. Hi, I'm Dr. Surya Thapa. Um, a dental surgeon by profession and model by passion and I'm a cover girl for MNS this week. As a makeup artist, I am Sophie Sunwar. And I am a member of makeup garden. I am a member of the 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 makeup garden. I am I am going to go to the house and make a I am going to go to the house and I Nepali art and tradition samandhi roi kuchha Ani hamle chai mandir kuti video ta aru kuchun yota Bose ko posture aru ane haath ko expression Ani aha ko expression kasto kasto thai hamle chai Te ini basically te ini dehao na khoze kuchum
मला आज एकदमै रमाइलो लाग्यो हाम्रो एन्टायर एमएनएस टिम सँग काम गर्दा हाम्रो फोटोग्राफर सञ्जुक राई हैन हु इज भेरी ट्यालेन्टेड अनि उहाँले पनि मलाई धेरै कुराहरु सिकाउनु भयो आज जस्तै बेसिक पोस्चर्स देखि लिएर हैन एक्सप्रेसन देखि लिएर एभ्री कुरा अनि मलाई उहाँसँग मैले आज चाहिँ खासमा चाहिँ पहिलो चोटि काम गरेको तर मलाई पहिलो चोटि काम गरेको जस्तै फिल भएन मलाई चाहिँ पहिलेदेखि चिनिरहेको हैन सबैजना एकदम फ्रेन्डली लाग्यो एकदम रमाइलो लाग्यो फोटोसुटको बेलामा पनि सबै मान्छेहरू बाहिर निस्केको बेलामा बच्चादेखि लिएर बुढाबुढीहरूदेखि लिएर होइन सबैजना हेर्न आउनुभयो अब बच्चाहरू त कतिजना भूत भनेर तर्सेर भाग्यो पनि So what did you get from our cover picture? Well, to find more about it, grab a copy of the MNS supplement with the Kathmandu Post or download the Kantipur app to get MNS along with other KMG products straight to your phones. And the book while we move on to find out who shines today on MNS Inspire, let's take a short break. I will be right back. Doesn't it intrigue you how we human beings have such different outlook on the same things? What makes our perspective so different? What is it that makes us so similar and so different all at the same time? Well, that might be a hard question to answer, but we can at least try to bridge that gap by listening to others with an actual intent to understand. On Eminence Inspire today, we have a man with a similar intriguing perspective on life. You might have noticed certain white paper butterflies around the town once in a while. Well, those are the creations of a single man, Milan Rai, a visual artist. Rai's work, which he says has no meaning behind it except for making him happy, are not only famous in Nepal but has found home all over the world. And apart from sharing his happiness with others, he has presently been helping the earthquake areas in ways most have neglected. So yes, let's hear it from the man himself. run what for your passion run after what you love to do and don't worry about money money will come to you namaste i'm mamilan rai uh, i'm a visual artist nearly 2 years back uh, a white butterfly came and sat on my pen pen brush while i was working in my studio it reminded me something you know like how it becomes a butterfly and it, and that butterfly reminded me of my own struggle and i started uh, spending much time in greeneries running after butterflies more than in galleries so i was so happy do, doing all these things i became uh, it reminded me of little things that we forget to we, have, we almost you know like we tend to forget and then it was a kind of revelation as well so that a little incident inspired me to imagine a butterfly city I started this not to make anyone happy not to please anyone I found happiness doing this and when I expressed it in public spaces people started relating with their own stories people started responding to it with their own ways they have opened up their heart they have shared their innermost secrets with me in a public space they, they cry with me they they hug me I think uh, one of the most beautiful thing I feel about doing this is I I I I feel liberated I feel freedom It's always very di difficult for me to describe my uh, my project in one sentence or one definitive uh, term because it's always evolving it keeps changing you know uh, it's never the same it keeps changing it keeps evolving and it keeps growing in you know like and i always have this difficulty in expressing it is indescribably beautiful for me wanted to become a great artist when since my early childhood i always dreamed of becoming an artist but i was i, I had a very rough time in my early teenage days i never completed my school so uh, without having a certificate without having uh, 
my school living certificate, uh, higher level education. I couldn't, uh, though I wanted to uh, study art, uh, I didn't get any admission in, in the art college. So, in a way, it made me more uh, determined, hardworking uh, to pursue, to become an artist. But, I, but at the same time, I was very discouraged, you know, because I had no any formal education, I had no any uh, background, strong background. Uh, and when people were all labeling me as a hopeless kid, art became my only companion. So that's how I practiced and practiced and practiced. Uh, I don't think you need a certificate or you need a certain degree to become an artist. We have this misconception that like Nepal is an artist. It's not that um, after traveling and after exploring Europe, America, and big other city, bigger cities, I discovered that it is difficult everywhere for artists. So you don't watch for your passion, run after what you love to do, and don't worry about money. Money will come to you, but we, we, but we have no any attachment or expectations or desire. The major shock, the major shock, the uh, the immediate uh, response was I was I looked for a safe place to go and uh, and I started worrying about people and I started calming them and I, I raced to teaching hospital at 3 a.m. in the morning and I was shocked I was not I was not shocked I was crushed to see the sufferings and pain all around me so I started volunteering in the hospital for two days and. After that, I came out in the Turikal open ground where people have, were taking temporary shelters over there, camping there. And I came to realize there, there, is, there are thousands of people and there is no any toilets. There was, there, there was four toilets and it was not in a condition to use. It was just for urination. And then next day, I uh, arrived there with uh, two, three p my friends. So we started digging with tools and we started posting it on Twitter and Facebook and amazingly volunteers started joining. They started coming armed with tools from their houses and we, we managed to build 20, 45 toilets uh, that day until dark, we worked until dark. I was very afraid about out of the outbreak of cholera and other many viral diseases, diarrheal diseases. But it seems like now we have outpaced cholera. Like we have made like uh, 100 and over toilets. And from that day till now, our volunteers have been actively making toilets in so many places. Not only just making toilets, we are creating awareness about cleanliness. We are giving them sanitary items, materials. I always try to focus on the positive side of everything. Uh, and in, this mid in the midst of this disaster, uh, I think this is a new call. This is a call to reroute our values uh, and reroute our communities in a deeper values of compassion, love, equality, peace, and it has to be grounded in love. It really amazes me how some people are so different and so beautiful all at the same time. Their goals, visions, and perspectives are outstanding. They think out of the box and have established a different identity for themselves. Know more about Rai on this week's m and Supplement. And now, let's take a short break before we move to some art galleries and museums around Kathmandu. Apart from the human tragedy, our heritage sites, monuments, art galleries, museums and cultural institutions have all suffered structural damage. This time around, the MNS team moves around to a few art galleries and museums with Sangeeta Thapa, the proprietor of Siddhartha Art Gallery. Take a look.
In addition to the human tragedy, the earthquake destroyed historical monuments and heritage sites. Over 800 temples have been destroyed across the country. Culturally, we are facing a ground zero situation as our museums, art academies, galleries, libraries, schools, cultural organizations have been raised to the ground. Namaste, I am Sangeeta Thapa. I am the director of the Siddhartha Art Gallery. अस्ति शनिबार आएको भूकम्पले अधिराज्यभरिको धेरै प्राइभेट ग्यालरीज गभर्नमेन्ट ग्यालरीजहरू म्युजियम्स आर्ट इन्स्टिट्युसन्सहरू ड्यामेज भएको छ र अहिले म मलाई के लाग्छ भने संस्कृतिको लागि चाहिँ नि कलाको लागि हामी एउटा ग्राउन्ड जिरो सिचुएसनमा छौँ आज हामीले सिद्धार्थ आर्ट ग्यालरी भिजिट गरिसकेपछि हामी अरू आर्ट ग्यालरीज र आर्टिस्टको प्रोग्राम्स र प्रोजेक्ट्सलाई पनि भिजिट गरेर अनि हनुमान ढोका म्युजियम पनि भिजिट गर्न जाँदैछौँ द सिद्धार्थ आर्ट ग्यालरी पार्क ग्यालरी तारागाउँ म्युजियम ग्यालरी आर्टिस्ट प्रुफ ग्यालरी एन्ड विकल्प आर्ट सेन्टर ह्याभ बिन ड्यामेज्ड पाटन म्युजियम इज टेम्पोरेली क्लोज टु द पब्लिक एज इट इज एंगेज इन क्रिएटिङ एन इन्भेन्ट्री अफ आर्ट वर्क्स रेस्क्यूड फ्रम द दरबार स्क्वायर इन द भ्याली the Chauni National, Paktapur Museum, Changunarayan Museum and the Hanuman Dhoka Museum have been severely damaged while museums in Gurkha and Nuakot have been damaged too. All the nation's leading art academies, the Nepal Academy of Fine Art, Lalit Kala Academy, Thiruvan University MFA program, Kathmandu University Center for Art and Design, and Srijana College have all suffered structural damage and are closed. The sheer scale of the human and cultural tragedy that is going on has prompted Nepali citizens to respond to the tragedy around them. The youth have also come forward to help the earthquake victims in whatever capacity they can, delivering food and relief items, digging out people buried in the rubble, sharing the grief and pain, reaching. <laughs> पेंट कर न सके सीचुएसन में कसरी एक्टिव भैर हमें हेखे राहत बाढ़ में ब्लड डोनेसन कर काठमंडू यूनिवर्सिटी सेंटर फर आर्ट एंड डिजाइन को विद्यार्थी चाहिए सुजन चित्रकार को लीडरशिप वहाँ को टीम को लीडरशिप को अंतर्गत बुंगमती विलेज में चाहिए अलग टेम्पोरी सेल्टर्स बनाकर व्यस्त भे हमी Sujan Chitrakar and the faculty from Kathmandu University Center for Art and Design have responded to the fallout from the earthquake by adopting Bungmati village. It is inspiring to witness the students from KU building temporary structures, toilets in Bungmati and conducting outreach programs for women and children. The KU team has redefined the public's perception of what art is. The real life skills that the artists are receiving from being entrenched in Bhumati will be monumental not only for the artist but for the people of Bhumati too. Throughout, history artists have been documenting the environment while embracing socio-political issues. While some artists have donated blood and collected funds for earthquake victims, the Archery Group is doing amazing community work in Thulubiasi, Ward No. 10, Bhaktapur. Archery has conceived a multi-pronged project that includes visual documentation of the site, women empowerment projects, motivational screenings, building temporary settlements and creating a homely settlement where art and craft projects are engaging children trying to overcome the trauma of the earthquake. <laughs> 
अहिले हामी हनुमान ढोकाको नासुल चोक भित्र छम र तपाईले यति क्षति भएको छ कि तपाईले हेर्नु हुन्छ अ यहाँ भित्र चाहिँ नि शाकालिनको सिंहासनहरू पनि छ म्युजियमको विभिन्न मालहरू छ हामीले के पनि निकाल्न सकिरा छैन यहाँ अ हेर यहाँ यो इतिहासमाथि इतिहास ओभरल्याप भएको छ भीमसेन थापाको टाइममा पनि के कन्स्ट्रक्सन त्यसमाथि शाहकालीनको राणाकालीनको सबै गाभेर यो यस्तो सुन्दर ब्युटिफुल नासो चोकमा यो क्षति देख्दाखेरि मनै कस्तो कस्तो भइरहेको छ द सिद्धार्थ आर्ट फाउन्डेसन ह्याज अ म्यान्डेट फर द कन्जर्भेसन अफ हेरिटेज इन इट्स मिसन स्टेटमेन्ट As a board member of the Patan Museum Development Committee and member of the Panchamukhiya Hanuman Dhoka Museum, we are responding to the present crisis by building a team of people who can respond to a cultural emergency situation. Currently, most of the treasures in our museums are under threat as these buildings are steadily crumbling with each aftershock. With monsoon barely 2 weeks away, our challenge is to train a team of people who can enter these buildings and rescue the precious objects in the museum's collection. At a time of national crisis, individuals need to step forward to volunteer whatever expertise they may have. We need to come together as a people who can fight the odds. Our temples may be broken, but our gods are still here. You're watching the MNS Video Magazine and that was it for today. You can also find us on Kantipur Television every Friday evening at 10 and every Saturday morning at 11. I will be back next week with more stories from Kathmandu. Hopefully your life getting better. Until then you keep smiling, stay happy.